Right then. Let's have a look at this. So we keep on going with the probability. We're getting towards the end of it. Uh, so let me switch over because it's a bit of a down color on it before. Right, so it says three events A, B, C are such that A, B, C is that A and B is that. So mutually exclusive and independent, so that's important. So given that A and C are mutually exclusive and B and C are independent. Right, so we've got to be really careful with that. So for part A, for B and C. So what do we know? B and C are independent. So if they're independent, then B and C is just B times C. So the probability of B and C is B times C, so it's 0 0.7 times 0 0.4. So B and C oops, is 0 0.28. There. Okay, so that's okay. B says the probability of B given that C has occurred. So that's B and C. And then what am I choosing out of? I'm choosing out of C. So C goes on the bottom. So B given that C has occurred is B and C, which is my 0 0.284, divided by C, which is 0 0.4. Uh, what's that going to get us? 0 0.2. Oh, apparently. 0 0.7. There. There. Now that's quite interesting, that word. Because it said that B and C are independent. And if you look, the probability that B happens given that C has already occurred is actually B. So it's showing us, using this formula, that B is actually independent. Let me write that down a bit. It's a bit of a funny one, isn't it? So, so this answer, so the probability of B, given that C has occurred, is actually the probability of B, because it's independent. And that's a little sneaky one. Independent. That's quite sneaky now. Oh, press the button at the bottom to save the button up here. So I just change the size. So it takes a while to get used to it. Right, so C says, let's do the probability of A given that it's not B. Now then. So that would be the probability of A and not B over choosing from not B. Have I got that information then? Um, a and not B. So let me uh, pause it and we'll draw a little Venn diagram. Right, I've drawn us a little Venn diagram because A and B is 0 0.3 which is a bit in the middle. A is 0 0.4 so 0 0.1 is in the the bit at the side on the left, and then B is 0 0.7, so I've got 0 0.4, but 0 0.8 in the A or B, and then 0 0.2. So I want A and not B. So A and not B, oh, I've done it again. I keep changing the size by pressing the wrong button. A and, and not B is just this part here, if you work it out. So that would be a 0 0.1. And I'm choosing out of not B. So not B is 0.3. Check that. There. So not B will be 0.3. So that's just a third, isn't it? All right, let me change colour. I'm going to look at the next one. So D. D is going to bound to be messy, isn't it, just from looking at it. So it's the probability of B and C. Just use a little bracket. Given that, it's not A. Right, so I kind of do need uh, some form of picture for this. But I'm going to put the. Um, let's have another look. Now it tells us A and C are mutually exclusive, so A and C don't interact with each other. So what I've kind of got in terms of a Venn diagram is almost like a 
like a Mickey Mouse thing. Now, I drew that little Venn diagram up there just for random B. I've missed off C. So I know that A is 0 0.1. That's 0 0.3. Uh, I know that. Put one there because I'm guessing. I know that C is 0 0.4. But I know that B and C, so if I have that as C, I'll have that as B. I know B and C is 0 0.28. So this little bit in here is 0 0.28, that bit in there. So if that's 0 0.28 and B is 0 point, sorry, C is 0 0.4, then that's 0 0.12. B I knew was 0 0.7, but I've got the 0 0.3 and the 0 0.28, which is 0 0.58. So that's going to be 0 0.12. Add them all together gives me 0 0.92. So it leaves me with 0 0.08 on the outside. Now I want B and C, uh, given that, I'm just choosing that of not A. So B and C, I'll move to B and C. Uh, so, I don't, I don't, so B and C and A, so B and C and A, not A, sorry chosen from, not A, because the and bits, the overlap where they are, so B and C, so B and C is, is all that part there, so you can kind of visualise B and C as being the, like the bottom bit and the right hand bit, but chosen from not A, so that would be the 0.12, the 0.12 and the 0.28, I think. Um, so, not, so we've got to look at the overlap. So for B and C with not A, that's going to give us a 0 0.2. Ah, so right, so that's going to give us 0 0.28. And that's chosen from the 0 0.6, which is not A. Because A is 0 0.4, not A would be 0 0.6 there. So the B and C part, and not A, that we're choosing from. There. Messy. Messy, messy, messy question. Messes with your head. Messes with my head, anyway. There. But I've got one more to do, and then we're done for this, so we'll have a quick look. Might come back to the other question just at the end. So it says it's known that 2% of all the population were affected by a particular disease. So 2% is not like now two. So that means then that 98% of people aren't there. The diagnostic test for detecting the disease tests positive 97% of the time when the person has the disease. So I've got positive there for 0.97. I've got 3% if it's negative. Um, and tests negative 95% of the time when the person doesn't have a disease. So negative is 0 0.95, positive 0 0.05. So I'm just getting the right, um, the right info there, was that? So it says if a random selected person tests positive, says positive for the diagnostic test, what's the probability that they actually have the disease? Right, so what would the probability that I have the disease given that I test them positive? So that would be the probability of having the disease and being positive out of all the people who are positive. So, my issue is now, I'm just going to pause it a second because I'm running out. I'm not actually not happy here. Uh, my disease and, so I'll put that down. Disease given that positive. So disease and positive is 0 0.02 times 0 0.97. Now my positive is a little bit more messy to do. Right, let me pause this a second. Now then, I was just trying to think of the wording so I'd be quick here. Positives is these two, isn't it? So I've got the 0 0.02 times 0 0.97 divided by the top, 0 0.02 times 0 0.97. Or, adding on, 
I've got three seconds left. It's going to run out. No.